hello guys welcome back so now in this video we are going to connect our flutter app with firebase so how we can do that well simply go to your browser and google for firebase now one thing you have to keep in mind that you are logged into your gmail account or you can say to your google account to use firebase you need to use your google account or you can say your gmail account so you will see this one which is firebase.google.com simply click on that you can see firebase.google.com it will redirect you to this page here you can click on go to console and here you will see a ui like this where you will see this button add project click on this add project button and here you have to provide your project name so for example i will give it name as flutter uble clone with admin then click continue then continue make sure that is enabled okay then continue and here you have to choose default account for firebase create project so our project is now creating so now click on continue so our firebase project which is flutter uber clone with admin is created successfully now how you can come to this project again let me tell you you have to just search for firebase console or you can type this url which is console.firebase.google.com when you type this url it will redirect you to this page okay here you will see your project which is by the name flutter uber clone with admin you can click on that and it will redirect you here now here you can click on this android icon or also you can come to this screen if you click here on this gear icon go to the project settings and here if you scroll you will see that okay so click here on this gear this android icon now here you have to provide your package name or you can say your application ID for that you have to go back to your project and inside the project you need to go to Android app build.gradle this file so if you scroll here you will see here your application ID now here you need to change this example with your name I will change it to my name Muhammad Ali let's say if your name is John then you can type John and then this is our user app remove this underscore from it okay so users app now you need to just copy this id come back to the browser and simply simply paste that in here like this and then click on register app after that you will get this uh, button which is download google services.json click on that and download this google services.json file as you can see it is downloaded go to the downloads folder and simply copy this google service file and go back to your project here inside the app you can paste that that is right click on app click paste click ok so inside the app folder we have our google services.json file which we paste here ok once you paste it inside the app folder you can now delete it from the downloads okay so then the next thing is go back to the browser click next we have to add this com google gms google services how we can do that well go back to your project and in here inside the same uh, build.gradle file okay inside the app build.gradle file if you scroll here to the bottom down here after the dependencies just type apply plugin colon just like this apply plugin and then colon and then after this colon you need to simply copy this this com google gms google services okay just this for example you can copy it from here okay and for now just paste it down here okay just copy this piece okay this line and then in front of this apply plugin add double quotes inside the double quotes you can paste that just like this okay as you can see and then remove this one then go back to the browser and now the next thing that we will add is the the same uh, the same com google gms google services including the version number to our project level build.gradle so 
this is our app level build dot gradle okay let's close this let's close other also so that you can see the screen easily now close this okay and inside the project level that is inside the android we have this build dot gradle okay so open this build dot gradle where you have these dependencies above this build gradle in here here we have to add so we can say class path and and the same com dot google dot gms dot google dot dash services we have to add that here now how copy this whole line again okay and then come back here and here for example i will paste it okay i will cut this from here i will paste that in here okay just like this and then inside here inside the double quotes after the google dash services add colon and then add this version number and then paste that here just like this now you can remove this okay so you need to just add it like this now remember we're adding the version number you have to add a colon here okay and also after this uh, GMS you can add colon not dot okay instead of dot you can add this colon just like this like com dot google dot GMS colon google dash services colon then the version number whatever it is you can just add here like this now once you do this now you can close this and now we have to go back to our main dot dot to initialize the firebase settings so we can test either we are connected successfully or not now to use the firebase services we have to add the dependencies for that so go to the pubspec.yml file and here we will start adding for example the first thing that we will use is the firebase core which is required for using the firebase services like the authentication the real-time database the storage and so on for the firebase cloud messaging which is for the push notifications we must include this firebase core first then after comes the authentication so we will also use the authentication then we will also use the uh, firebase database and then the firebase uh, firebase storage for using the firebase storage for saving the uploading the images and files we use the firebase storage so for now just add these four dependencies then click pubget in order to install it now come back to the main dot dot and one thing which we will do is we will go back to the android app build.gradle and inside the default config uh, you can see this uh, minimum SDK version make sure that the minimum SDK version is 24 okay 24 it means 24 or greater than 24 now on the main dot dot we will initialize firebase so we can simply say future void man and it will be asynchronous first we will make sure that widget uh, widget flutter binding dot ensure initialized then we will initialize firebase so we can say firebase dot initialize app now we have to test our application if the application runs successfully on our phone it means that we are connected to firebase successfully so now click on the play button to install the app on our phone so as the app is running now successfully it means we are connected successfully with the firebase that is our flutter project our users app is connected successfully with the firebase